All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Christian Moorline Brewing Company, and they're out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and this is their Strawberry Banana Pig. So this is actually a blended beer. They take their Strawberry Pig, which is a cream ale infused with strawberries, and they blend it with their Seven Hefeweizen, which is a German-style Hefeweizen, and it comes in at 4.7% alcohol by volume, 17 IBUs and at the time of review. No idea how old this can is because it does not have a can down date, but I did pick this up in mid-September in Cincinnati and at the time of this review that was about six weeks ago. So I'd imagine this is no older than probably like three months old because I think they released this one in late summer. So yeah, anyway, the reason I picked this one up is because of a fellow beer tuber and good friend of mine, Jay over at This Guy's Thoughts. He reviewed this one and I was like, a strawberry banana cream ale? Sounds pretty good. I did not know it was a blend until um Pretty sure he mentioned it in his review, but uh, yeah, it sounded uh, pretty damn tasty. I like strawberry, banana, you know, like yogurt, stuff like that. So I figured this would be pretty good. On the side here, they have a little bit of a spiel that I will read. It says, each spring we honor Cincinnati's historical nickname, Porkopolis, by brewing a small batch of our favorite cream ale recipe, affectionately named Strawberry Pig. The resulting beer was so unique that bartenders began creating blends of the beer to share. Uh, it's one such creation was a mix of Strawberry Pig and our award winning winning seven Hefeweizen that created a strawberry banana ale referred to as Piggy Weizen. Uh, the creation was such a smashing success with its refreshing light body, summer hef, uh, haze, heffy haze, I should say, and fruity finish that we bring to you a strawberry banana pig. So that's pretty cool that they decided to, uh, you know, blend this themselves and then actually release it because, you know, bartenders in different places were doing their own creations. That's pretty cool for sure. Yeah, I can't wait to get in this one. So, yeah, uh, it's, you know, it is, as I'm reviewing this, it's, uh, you know, late October. Hmm. Okay, that cracked weird. It's late October, it's coming out, so let me do a little bit of a pour here. Oh, yeah, it seems very carbonated. It definitely was rushing out, so might have to sit here and let it um, settle down a bit. But, yeah, interesting that... Uh, they, uh, you know, started doing different blends of this and that uh, they actually release it. You see that happen sometimes, so really cool. But yeah, uh, that pours out a really crystal clear, like lemon. No, I shouldn't say crystal clear. There's just chill haze, but it definitely has some haziness to it. So I'll take back the crystal clear, but it has a hazy, like yellow color to it. It looks more like a half of eyes than anything, like a lighter half of eyes. Uh, it had about a forefinger of a crazy looking fluffy head that is now dissipating into about two fingers at this point. I'm sure at some point it'll be a thin film, but uh, yeah, very fluffy, soapy looking, but let me pour a little bit more in now since we uh, do have it, the head down a little bit. All right, we'll do like something like that. I did roll this can, so maybe that was the reason for it because it is a Hefeweizen. I wanted to get all the, the goodness in there. I mean, it is part Hefeweizen anyway. So yeah, that looks awesome. That just looks like a beautiful beer. So let's get a nose. I can smell the strawberry from here. It's crazy. Yeah, it honestly smells like strawberry, st strawberry banana like yogurt. It doesn't have like... The, 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 like the tartness you would get in a yogurt, but it just has that like kind of... I guess, flavoring to it. <sighs> strawberry is real big. Wow, that's awesome. But it's more like a candy strawberry. This does not actually smell like an authentic strawberry. It, they do say it's infused with strawberries and you get this color. They're probably using some kind of extract. But yeah, a lot of strawberry, a little bit of banana, a little bit of funkiness too from like uh, the German yeast that's probably in half of this beer. Touch of graininess from the base cream ale. I cannot get over how much it smells just like strawberry banana, though. Like, it's crazy. So I want to get into it. Cheers, everybody. I get way more... Uh, the aftertaste is cool. I get way more of a Hefeweizen feel in the mouth than I did in the nose, by far. Right up front, 4.7%. This is higher side of light body which I kind of expected from a sub 5% beer. So it's very refreshing on the palate because it's lighter. The mouthfeel, while being slightly soft and smooth, doesn't have a creaminess you'd get from a half of Eisen because it is only half of it. It has more of a crispness you get from a cream ale, more carbonation to the uh, mouthfeel. Finish is relatively clean. Even though I said that aftertaste was nice, it was only there for a couple seconds and gone. Super easy, clean drinking beer. Flavors on this one, right up front, that half of Eisen. You get the uh, the yeast strain you get from uh, German style half of Eisen. 
and it has that you know banana um, yeast ester has a little bit of like a, a clovey spiciness too I get a lot of times in Hefeweizens so banana clove a little bit of funkiness and then as it passes through the palate that strawberry hits it's more of an essence or an extract more of like a candied strawberry a slight graininess hits mid palate and then it finishes slightly dry a little bit of residual sweetness a touch of bitterness, ever so slight touch of bitterness, very minute though on the palate, and super clean. This is, dare I say, even though this is the middle of fall, a summer crusher. That's what this beer is. If you like strawberry, you like banana, or you like half of Eisen's, this is, should be right in your wheelhouse. For me, I'm really digging it. And even though that strawberry character is a you know to the candied side this is this is not to me and again they could be using real strawberries but to me this is drinking more of like a candied strawberry as opposed to a real strawberry which some people might find that as a negative not to me because i like candy i'm a big boy i like candy right so uh i like strawberry candy so this drinks you know more like a candied strawberry than it does authentic but it doesn't really bother me as you can see i'm crushing this so yeah rating uh, as I always am, I'm, I'm honest when it comes to these ratings, and uh, I'm going to give Strawberry Banana Pig from Christian Moorline low 4 out of 5. I'm going to go 3.95 out of 5. I think it deserves it. I don't think this is going to be a mind-blowing beer for anybody, but what what is on the label? Strawberry Banana is what you taste in the glass. I think this leans more to the Hefeweizen side of things than the, the Strawberry Cream Ale. What I would have liked to have is both of these um, beers separately. I would would have liked to try the Strawberry um, Pig and then there's seven Hefeweizen and then do this, but I did not see either of those beers. I only saw this one, so yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, really good beer. Uh, price point on this one, I think I paid like it was like a buck 79 buck 89 for that can well worth it i imagine six packs of this probably run in the 10 11 dollar range which for a beer that has pretty good quality and has these flavors i think it's appropriate i think it's a good price and availability i have no idea when it comes to christian Moreline of jay or rod or anybody out there in the cincinnati area or in ohio um knows i know that jay is not in cincinnati he's in ohio i think he's a couple hours away from cincinnati so this definitely gets distribution in other places in ohio outside of that I have no idea so yeah pretty good beer really enjoy it 3.9 out of 5 or 3.95 out of 5 for strawberry banana pig from christian Moreline. if you've had this one before let me know what you think about it 4.7 percent. i really don't taste any alcohol like most sub five percent beers this is just a great beer for the summertime unfortunately it's middle of fall it's like 45 degrees outside right now so whatever it happens but you know what I, i'm not a seasonal drinker and i could crush this you know in the middle of winter when it's zero degrees outside doesn't matter to me because it's a quite tasty beer so appreciate everybody stopping by to the next one cheers